Hi everyone, we're here in Ballina Ski, close to Banbridge in County Down. And the reason why we're here today is that I want to show you some of the habitats that are in place on this farm, which are of great importance to a number of priority farmland birds. There are three main needs of farmland birds. That is a safe place to nest, food in the spring and summer for their growing chicks, and then a winter food source as well. So all of those things are equally important uh, for the survival of a number of the species that we're interested in. And behind me here, you'll see a winter feed crop for wild birds, also known as wild bird cover, and also as well, um, some winter stubbles, which are being retained throughout the winter. And these things here, they provide that vital source of food, that seed source for birds during those winter months which makes sure that they survive whenever the temperatures are really cold whenever there's really bad weather gets them through the winter right up to the breeding season so it's very very important for their survival so this is uh, some of the oil seed in amongst this mix so you see this here bit here will have seeds in amongst it but then these ones here are still ripening so that's going to produce seed going right through into the hungry gap which means that the birds will have food right through those late winter months and then in here as well, you've got, this was a sunflower. And you can see birds have been pecking away at this here. So you have um, linnet would have been feeding on this. Everything from chaffinch, blue tits, all your, all the usual sort of birds that you would expect to find. And there's still a little bit of seed left in there. So there's still more food to be provided for them. Over the last few decades, we've moved away in Northern Ireland from that mixed and arable farming to more of improved grassland for livestock and dairy. So there's a lot less seed in parts of the countryside where traditionally they would have been, but a lot of these birds have sort of evolved and adapted to sort of farming methods whereby they would have had this seed source in amongst their stubbles. So what the wild bird cover is doing, what that winter feed crop is doing, is creating that alternative source of seed for them during the winter months. So that can be anywhere, that could be on a livestock farm, it can be in an arable farm, but then as well with your traditional um, winter stubbles in amongst them, you get the spilt grain, which provides that seed for the birds. So whenever the cereal crop is harvested, it's inevitable that some of the grains are gonna spill down in to the soil. So throughout the winter months, this stubble is left. And then you'll see like in amongst it, you have the cereal which is the spilt grain, just down in amongst that. And then throughout the winter months, the birds will forage in amongst here, picking away at that there, providing that vital food source. But then as well, the small mammals will be coming in looking for this as well. And that's what makes this that um, excellent hunting habitat for your kestrel and for your barn oil. So right out amongst all that, you'll find these seeds just lying ready for the birds to eat. So again, that's just like another giant bird table for the winter months. So by providing these sort of habitats, you're not gonna just help halt the decline in these birds. We can actually do something about reversing that decline as well. It really, really helps to strengthen the food chain and it's trying to reset that balance. So the RSPB has worked with farms in County Down for a number of years and part of the reason why farmers would get in touch with us is that you know they do recognise that the wildlife is a huge part of the identity of their farm and they're wanting to do something to help. So we would give advice on everything from hedgerow management to introducing that winter food source for the birds. And as well, if the farmer was interested in entering the environmental farming scheme or an agri-environment scheme, we would give advice on that and help them apply for that and then the management of that going forward. And as well, then we would actually come down onto the farm and carry out uh, farmland bird surveys to, to basically establish what are the species of bird to call that farm home. And then we can then cater our advice based on what we find. So we've just moved about 30 miles over into the east of County Down and we're on the, the Kelly family farm just outside Downpatrick. And just behind me, you'll see a hedgerow that was cut just yesterday. And hedgerows are really, really important uh, to not just wildlife on the farm, they're, they're fantastic for all sorts of things like carbon sequestration, your, your carbon storage, they're good for biodiversity, good as shelter for livestock, but also as well, they're good for um, you know, biosecurity, you know, reducing nose-to-nose uh, -nose contact between uh, livestock herds. But the benefit to birds are just enormous. 
They provide a berry crop for birds during the winter, providing that food for them. They provide shelter. You have birds like Yellowhammer are actually uh, nest on the ground or very close to the ground, so they need that thick um, base to a hedgerow in order uh, to nest and in order to, to bring up their young chicks. Now, Having a hedgerow is great, but actually the management of the hedgerow is just as important. And this hedge here has actually been cut in that A shape, and that allows um, the sunlight to get down to the bottom and create and encourage that thicker base, which is really important for those birds that nest close to the ground. And as well, like uh, cutting them on rotation once every three years thereabouts, because actually berries only grow in the second year of growth. So if you're trimming your hedge annually, it's actually really suppressive to that berry crop, which is a vital source of food uh, for many birds. So it's cutting them on rotation once every three years and cutting them in an A shape, just like this, to really encourage that thick base, which is a vital habitat for wildlife on the farm.